Friends, a problem has occurred. Our worst nightmares have come to fruition. We are out of power, as you can clearly see, as the fridge's freezer functionality is no longer functioning. We are in need of a generator and fuel to fuel said generator immediately, if we want to keep stuff fresh. Now, we can take this stuff with us, which we're probably going to do. However, there's also this stuff which is uh, a little bit uncooked, which is not great. Anyway, I also put a door on our, our thing here. We learned the next thing of uh, carpentry here. So it's ready to go. And I also got out the uh, pipe wrench that we had. <laughs> I removed that from <coughs> the thing here. I'm still not sure where all this weight that I'm uh, allegedly carrying is coming from. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. Um, I don't think I'm carrying that much on me, right? But whatever. Um, I guess I'm going to eat these frozen peas now. Just to get them out there and do that. So I was trying to turn on the light, and I realized that uh, when I select the light switch, there's no option to turn stuff on. And I was like, shit. This is it, boys. This is how we die. So anyway, we're going to go downstairs. We're going to go to the van. And we're going to hopefully get the French toast out of here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and try to get to our uh, the place that we know. We'll probably have glue so we can get our bound journal going. Uh, but also possibly some uh, some gas cans and stuff like that. Because if we can get gas cans, we can fill them all up. And you can see a lot of the dead bodies have gone away. Uh, it's great. So they're they're dying. They're dissolving. Fuck, we have a huge crowd over there, which is not ideal. Let's get in. I'm going to open up our map. So we need to go basically down to a large intersection. And then we're going to have to go up. Okay, that's the plan. So, looking one more time, we're going to go down, over, and then up. All right? Let's go. Don't forget we're a Sunday driver, so it's going to take a minute for us to get going here. So we're looking for a road that's going to be about the same size as this one. All right? Unfortunately, this van is going to cause a lot of noise to happen. And that's going to cause a lot of zombies to be drawn to us like this. We're going to have to swerve out of the way and try not to mess up our van with these yahoos uh, trying to hand hero themselves in front of it. Also, I forgot to check how much the uh, van could hold in the back, but I think this is the corner we need to turn on. Are those keys over there? I think they are. Anyway, we don't care. It doesn't look like it's a decent car anyway keep going because we should very easily be able to see the tool store as we're coming up here it should be fairly obvious where it's at so here is uh some stuff do we coming up here any moment i think it's the next grouping of stuff right Wonders, that thing, that thing. Yes, the next block. Electron house, circuit, AI laundry, or A1 laundry probably. Good and legal services, greens. We have box pop brewery. We have super delight. Shoot, shoes for the stars? I don't know how that one is. Shoot for the stars, maybe? Is that a gun store? There's the tools. I'm gonna body that guy, get him dead. And, uh, gotta be a back parking lot, right? We're gonna go right here. 
and then uh, uh there's probably gonna be a lot of zombies around this corner uh so let's slowly but surely take out as many as we can right now before a huge horde shows up luckily it looks like our backside is relatively clear uh, in terms of zombies coming to touch our buttholes let's take out these guys Long Blunt is finally leveled up. Nice. Let's get that lady. There we go. All right. You guys have anything on you? Doesn't look like it. We do have some more guys coming up here. At least one more right now. Hopefully they're not all in the uh, tool store causing us problems in the future. Okay. It looks like that group is going away. I don't really want to deal with people if I don't have to. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll just enter the tool storage. And we're just going to go in the back room and close the door behind us. So we can loot everything we can. And we're going to take literally everything that's not nailed down, y'all. I'm talking this pipe, this fucking electrical wire. We're taking it. Everything that we can. Wood glue. Of course, we needed that, so that's what we're taking. Uh, pipe wrench, more of that. Uh, we're taking the screwdriver too, why not? Actually, let's go ahead and uh, disassemble this two-way radio. Don't really have a use for that, so. Disassemble, pallet with bricks. What will that give me? Like, okay, it gives me wood, I guess. That's interesting. This crate is empty. The premium radio, let's dismantle that. Go ahead and eat this ham. There we go. All right. That's why I was so heavy, because I have a fucking saw on me. Shell suit jacket. Metal bar, we're taking that. I'm leaving the plank behind. We can get planks easily enough. Um, paint, new jacket, okay. Actually, I might dump what we currently have in the van. That way I can come out with more stuff later and not have to worry as much. Dump all that, dump that. Hold on to the empty bottle. Dump that. Dump all that. So yeah, the pipe wrench and the metal bars, they can be used for uh, weapons, which we might need to take out the hospital. So, hopefully we can hang on to all of those. Alright. Let's get as much glue and duct tape and other stuff in here as we can. I'll take the hammers. Those can be used as weapons if necessary. I'll take screws. Uh... Metal bar, the welder mask, sure. I don't need multiple saws, so I think one will do me here. Uh, take the wire. I'm not sure if I'll have a need for the wire, but I'll take it. Just go ahead and fill our water up while we have a reprieve here. Okay, moving on. A rake, padlock. Don't really need a rake. Um, take the tire pump because we don't have one. We need a trowel so we can start gardening. So that's good. Wooden mallet. Uh, another hand axe, which we'll take. Um, I'll take a shovel too, just to be safe here. Sounds good to have extra stuff. I don't know if we need a pickaxe, but I'm going to take it. I'll search this wall. Let's see. Pipe wrench, a hand scythe. Sure. More pipe wrenches, too. I can use those as weapons. Uh, electric base. Don't care. I think I actually put that there, didn't I? When I was running through here. 
some point. Yeah, fishing line, but we're probably not going to end up fishing, like, at all. So I'm not going to deal with that stuff. We have quite a few hammers already, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting more. Oop, those were nails. Boxes of nails. Excellent. Um, I'll take another hammer. Metal bar, taking that. Okay. An extinguisher. Hmm. Puts out fires. That could be useful to have. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to take that. And I think the last thing is just this uh, area here. Which doesn't have anything else on it. Wow. We really lucked out and just got like the minimum amount of wood glue that we needed to make a binding journal. So, we got really lucky. I was hoping for uh, some more gas cans, but sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes you can just you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Okay. What we could do is go down to the car shop now. I believe that they have... Um, so if we go down this road, then on the second larger road, we hang a left. Or a right, whatever the hell it is. Let's go. If I just follow this little back street here until the next row and then turn left, I'll be on it. So let's do that. Yeah. Is this the street? I don't think this is a street. This is more like a back area. Fossil field. Here? Okay, we gotta go one more block down. I don't know this area very well yet, so we have to do what we can to stay alert. Some stuff here. So. This was the use store it. So right across from here, if we avoid that fucking thing there, should be. Our next target. Luckily, we cleared out some of the zombies in this area. So, we can in peace, pretty much. Just uh, grab some stuff. Should I grab engine parts? I don't know. I think I'll leave that stuff alone and just kind of grab what we're coming here for, which is gas cans, gas cans, gas cans. If we can find gas cans, uh, I would be a happy camper. That's all we need right now is gas cans. Nothing else matters. Because we need to get fuel for a generator. We're going to refrigerate stuff or power anything. Looks like just a bunch of fucking fires, though. So the back room here is just filled with tires. Okay, so if I need tires, we can just come right back here and... Grab what we can, or need, I guess. Already read that one, okay. I don't think we have a wrench. I should grab a wrench before I am like, crap, I don't have a wrench, and then have to go out and about and figure shit out like that. All right, so that's the front of the store. What's back here? Just the break room, right? Okay. I don't think there's anything in here. I will disassemble this radio, though, to get myself some electrical experience. Even though it's not going up by very much at a time, it is helping slowly but surely. Okay. Let's keep going. There's a jack, but I don't think I need a jack right now. 
Like, I think in any instance that I would need to, uh, there we go, empty gas can. In any instance that I would end up needing a, a jack or specific car parts, uh, I'm basically in a place where I have screwed up and I will not be able to fix the car at that particular moment in time. So we're not going to worry too much about that stuff at the moment. That's more of a, once we've secured an area and we can work on our car kind of thing, you know. We have a couple of gas cans so far. Let's uh, try getting as many as we can, though. Also, maybe I grab a car battery charger? Place on the ground and use the context menu to attach a battery. It requires a power source to operate. Maybe not, then. Because right now, nothing has power. So... Empty gas can. Excellent. We're just going to grab as many as we can. Just lurk around, do our thing, grab another empty gas can. Have I read this one? Already read. Perfect. I haven't read the mechanics yet, but that's okay. For now, anyway. Another empty gas can, I'll take it. When I actually fill these with gas, it is going to be... Uh, insane. How anxious am I? Not too bad yet. Okay. And here we have another empty gas can. There's also that thing down there that I have not yet searched. Coveralls, tire pump, mechanics four. Okay. Well, if we need more mechanic books, we know to come here because uh, that'll have some stuff in it, right? I think the goal here, we load up on gas cans, and then we'll try to drive past the gas station. And hopefully, ooh, three of them. And then hopefully, um, we can either clear it, or there will be enough room to do some stuff. I think 13 gas cans will do us just fine for right now. I don't want to fill up on gas cans and then not be able to get out, right? So we're just going to walk our way over here. Fuck, I don't have my crowbar equipped. Well, I guess if I'm going to be filling these gas cans anyway, it doesn't really matter. We just store the stuff that I do not need in my inventory right now. Alright, equip the crowbar in both your hands. Okay. Alright. Whew! Back to the safety of our car, relatively. Um... Right, the gas can was all the way down here. Or the gas pumps were all the way down there. I don't know if there's any other gas stations anywhere else. Uh, maybe here or something, but that's what I want to know. So we're going to go down to the main street, and then left of the next main road. Let's give it a try. Still just a little bit overweight, and I don't like that. Can I put the gas cans in my side seat? Please and thank you. I'll just start transferring stuff over while I uh, drive down there. I'm just going to put it in the side seat because I don't want to... I wish I could stop transferring. <laughs> I think I have to keep going once I start. Here's the main road. We're going to turn to the right. And once we see the next main crossing, we turn left again. Look here. And we just take this down until we hit the gas station. Which actually might be this. Maybe? I don't think it is. I think this is just part of the hospital area still. open the map. I don't know what I'm hesitating about here. Okay, yeah, we're pretty close. Need to go further. 
However, how many zombies are in front of us? Quite a few. And that one zombie right there looks a little bit familiar. Kind of like our first person did? Hmm. Well, I also see a truck down there. I wonder if that works. Okay. So I don't want to pull up next to a pump yet. I just want to see how clear this area is. Okay. Actually, <clears throat> let's leave it running. In case I gotta get the hell out of here. Didn't realize I'm in crippling pain right now. Y'all stay on the ground. Stay on the ground, you hear? I didn't have the painkillers uh, back at home now. Let me check my surroundings there. Are you a police woman? Or are you like a postal worker? Or just a woman in blue and jeans, I guess. No, oh, just ignore me, okay. Alright. I think it's safe to pull up to a gas pump now. He says as he sees another fucking zombie out of the corner of his eye. The problem is, I can't pump gas right now, can I? Because I don't have power. Right, hold on. Yeah, I can't pump gas because it doesn't have power. I can't believe I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. Uh. Hold on. First of all. Do I have painkillers on you? I do not. Shit. Okay. Um, do I have any... No. Give me one gas can. Just one. Alright. Now then. Hello, anybody home? No, okay. Well. Maybe they have painkillers in here? They do! Hell yeah. Give me all those. And then, uh... Find where the junk food section is at. Where's their junk food section? Do they not have junk food? They just have pop? And stuff here? Really? Fine. I'll drink this orange soda. I love orange soda. I do, I do, I do. Alright, so we saw a truck just to... Alright. Um, yeah, it's not going to work out. We need to find a generator. Not that way. I was hoping I would find a generator back here, but, uh, nope, just another gas can. I did find some junk food, though. That's great. Ugh. Our problem has gotten quite dire. Okay. So I know where there's a generator, at least one. Uh, it is in the apartment building, but I wanted to kind of use that one for 
our power at that place. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just go grab the generator, bring it back so I can get fuel. And I can check the U-Haul. You you should you store it. Where the hell it is? To uh have some stuff in there maybe. Oh, that's a lot of zombies right there. Sidewalk. Yeah. Here. The place is just to our north, so that's fine. The thing is, we're gonna need some gas in order to work the uh, the generator that we're gonna bring down. So I'll have to do that. Siphon gasoline. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. Open both hands, please. All right, we have some gas now. Honestly, that's all we need at the moment. Put it in my backpack, please. I'm going to have to carry that fucking generator, which is going to be heavy as shit. Oop. So it should be not here... But not here. This one. Uh, take generator. Let's go. Open up my uh, health so I can see how fucking dying I am with this thing. <laughs> In the car. Okay, it should no longer be taking damage. Perfect. Way too many tries to turn on. All right, we're heading back down now, so that we can put this generator next to the gas pumps, so that it has fuel or power, so we can get fuel for everything else. I don't need a tool to do that, do I? Like some sort of weird, specific tool. Specifically to hook up a gas pump. Hope not. Anyway, we're just gonna... I'm gonna stay off the grass, because I think the grass slows me down. Shit. I'm gonna have to body them a little bit. Sorry. Excuse me. Zombies up here still. Right up to the top layer. Down here, Ugh, brakes, turn off, out. Uh, drop generator. Generator's down. Moving away. We need to equip our crowbar again. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a smoke. Why, why, did, why, why did I get jump scared on the other side of the fucking fence, huh, buddy? Huh? Those go off. Time to kill. Hey, look, it's my zombie. Or my first zombie, anyway. We don't know that, though. Fuck you, guy. Alright, we need to run. Do I have beta blockers still? I do. Take them. Fuck, we're tired as well. This is not ideal. We need to find a secure place to hide for the night. <laughs> Let's run over here. Maybe we can go through one of these houses and end up in a safer area. 
That one's locked. That one's open. Oh, I couldn't shut the door. Although, mind me, we're just going to go through it. The door to that house down there is open. Maybe it's cleared. Who knows? We'll take a look. Sneakily, we're going to go upstairs and try to clear this place out. Make sure it's safe. Oh, look. A free bed. Let's go ahead and uh, take a rest up here. Not safe to sleep here? What do you mean? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's loot this place before we go. Oh, look, there's some desert eagle here. That's cool, I'll take that. I already have one at home, but never, never hurts to have more, right? I don't need any of that stuff, so I'm just gonna pass. What do we got up here? Oh, a cooking volume one book? Okay. Oh, wow. Looks like someone was storing some stuff in here. Jackpot. Person doesn't look like they're home, so now we can actually use this place for some stuff, it looks like. <clears throat> yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was me canonizing the fact that Brandon, in fact, found our first character's stash. And I didn't actually mean to. Like, I came down here to uh, just feel the thing. I did not plan on getting overran by zombies and finding this truck. Does this truck have anything in the back? It does not. It has a couple gas cans, but that's about it. All right. We're going to head back towards the gas station now that we're you know, in sound mind and body, more or less. I'm going to slip in through here, through the back. Kill this one zombie who seems to be standing guard here for whatever reason. I'm going to go into the storage room where there's food. Because we're going to need to eat here in a moment, so let's go ahead and just uh, eat what we can. There we go. We're sated for now. So now we just got to get out to the generator, put our fuel into the generator, and then clear any zombies we have around here. It's going to be the, the game plan for today. Fortunately, I don't think I killed the zombie. I'm not sure where he ended up wandering off to. Um, he's still got to be nearby. It's only been like a couple of hours. But anyway, what we can do is connect a generator. There we go. I can add fuel to the gas can. And then if I turn it on, I can then refuel from gas pump. Just make sure this area is secure around here. Looks like it. All right. And then I'm going to grab the gas cans out of the back. Take fuel, fill all. For some reason, I don't think that was all, was it? My friend. I just don't want to... I don't want to die. Carrying too much. I guess I can toss this stuff out of my inventory real quick. 130 is what I can store in the back. Nice. I'm not sure how loud the, uh, the trunk here is. Alright, let's continue filling up. Take fuel. Fill all. Why are you like this, friend? Hmm? 
You know that's not filled. Big fuel, fill all. Try this again. Oh, that's a zombie if I've ever seen one. Oh, I can't. We're gonna have to drop it on the ground. Or not. Fuck. They all just came out of the woodwork. How fucking dare they? Hold on, we're gonna have to go over. Oh, shit. Okay. Gas cans are dropped. I can now move freely. Holy shit. That was way too close. I almost got fucking bit there, dudes. If I can lure him up here, fucking hell. Go ahead and close that back door. Hey, come on, come on, zombies, come on, come on, hey, come on. Find a window, find a window. Find a window so you can come through so I can bash your brains in. Let's go. Come on. Come on through. Hit a friend. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. There we go. Got him. Ooh, nice key. I think I'll take it. Stop rubbing your faces on the damn glass and get in here, you dicks. Trying to see if that group contained my zombie. Doesn't look like it did. All the gas in that gas pump is being used up. Any more zombies around the immediate area that would prevent me from filling up my remaining gas cans. Actually, I should put those two up before I forget about them. I'm gonna hurt myself by carrying them for just a moment. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of pain before you can make some gains, you know, as they say. Okay. I think that's all the empty gas cans I have back here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna fill up this gas can. I'm gonna place it right here. So it's there for the uh, people. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna last a long time with that much fuel. I don't think I even need all this, like... If I were to take all these gas cans out. One, two, three. Let's just do that. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Stop! Oh my god. I don't know why I do this. Full gas cans coming at you. Oh 
hours. I don't think I even need to worry about getting the rest of these. Those are literally in the driver's seat. Okay. We might have injured ourselves a little bit by carrying so much, but we managed to uh, fill up all of the gas, which is great. We can go ahead and turn this off now. Oh, it's not making noise. It's not making anything up. We just got to come in here and turn that on before we uh, do anything else. All right. Come on, friend. I don't know how I was missing like that, but okay. So before we go back, I'd very much like to... If I can find that one zombie who happened to have a backpack and a hat and a bag and all that. And a hockey mask I think he had on him. I'm not sure where he wandered off to, but he was close by a couple of times, so maybe we can find him again. hunting knife. I don't really want more hunting knives, to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. They just kind of uh, suck. Hey, you. Group up there. Come here. keys on you? No? Nope. Alright, so it might have followed me down through here. Like when I jumped through the, uh, the housing. I just don't know for sure, though. So Brandon's uh, like thought process for going after this zombie is that it looked like it was you know a survivor who happened to get you know killed, so they might have some good loot or something on them, right? That's kind of his the whole dealy bob and why he is insisting on going after this zombie, even though he's not sure where it went. There it is. We also need to level up our skills, so... Bashing in zombie brains is great. Let's hit these three, knock them away, and then let's check our back. Because that shit can happen. Alright, let's go. Back in. Continue backing away. Ride and Trude Strat. Back away. Make sure they can't be close. And keep bashing them. Keep at it. Go. Go. Whittle them down. We get a little exerted. That's okay. No pain, no gain, as they say. That one's a little close. We're going to back away. Move them out a little bit. You know? Okay. Main zombie wanders down. We just gotta handle the rest. Kill that one who's low on health. There we go. Go two of them there. Pick our back. Looks secure. There is a zombie further up north, past the gas pumps. Also one that just came from the right there. 
think we should be fine, though. If this one stops fucking trying to bite my ankles. The only fuck off. Just for a minute. Just for a minute. Okay. Need to get away from the fucking crawler. He doesn't, like, bite my ankles while I'm trying to fuck up his friends. There we go. Alright. Area secure. Although there's another one going up there. Alright. Let's just grab the zombie that we wanted. Where's he at? Of course, he's the last one. That's always how it goes. I'm going to place this bag over here so I can search it separately. Let me just get a good look around. Okay. What do you have on you, sir? Oh, you got some some of this stuff? Okay, I'll take that. Bulletproof vest, I already got that, so that's fine. And you got some keys on you. I don't think I'll just take all your keys. Oh, you got a couple of car keys on here. Not bad. Very good. Good zombie. I'm going to drop his keys on the ground after that, because I don't need your key ring. Fanny pack, oh, you have some stuff in it. That's cool. A hockey mask, oh, I'll go ahead and wear that. Perfect, perfect. Leather jacket, maple syrup, don't care. Rotten stuff there. Some sterilized bandages, we'll take those. A couple of water bottles, that's all right. Check out his backpack now. Some suture needles, some other medical supplies. We'll go ahead and take all those. Perfect. All right. Our uh, escapade out around here is nearly completed. We're going to head back into the gas station. Back into the back room. Because we need a little bit of food right now. And we really need a break, so... Oof. I need a break myself, goddamn. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Wait for time to pass. Let's wait until 1500. There we go. Alright. And then just for the road, let's go ahead and take... I guess there's no more food back here. Well, we'll eat this piece of gum. It'll help our breath stay minty fresh for the zombies. In case one of them wants to fucking French kiss us or some shit. I'll put it past a zombie. Alright. We had found a truck back that way. And we had seen that it uh had some stuff in it. And there was uh, that place next to it as well. So Brandon decides to get in the truck, get in this van... And he's going to go down to that uh, house. He's going to take a look. See if there's anything that can be used to pull down there. There may have been some stuff that he left behind in the house, you know. Maybe that was that survivor who's been there that, you know. Oh. We just went and put down, God rest his soul. That was close. I almost got bit there, I swear. Okay. That clears those two out. So, do I have anything in my backpack? I do. Before I go in searching, let's empty our backpack. And there's anything in here that I do not need right now. Cologne. Uh, the sanitized bandages. Um, batteries. This bottle of fucking garbage here. Alright. Now we actually have access to the truck, which is great. Um, there's nothing in here I want particularly. So, this must have been the survivor's little hidey hole. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna liberate everything that he may have had in here. We'll take some sleeping tablets. I don't remember if I had any uh, food stored in here. There's some canned stuff that we can take. But I don't think I was, at that point in time, I don't think I had ended up 
uh, harvesting a whole bunch of stuff for food. I think we were still in the uh, acquire goods and try to find a safe... I forgot about the fucking chair there. Man, that could get you killed in a game. Like, no if, ands, or buts about it. That fucking... The way that that just is there is just so messed up. It looks like you can go past the, you know, the kitchen. Not the kitchen, the, uh, the stuff there. But it's like, no, you can't. Right, I'm just going to throw everything that'll fit into my backpack here. Perfect, everything did fit. And we're just going to clear the rest, because I don't remember if we put anything else anywhere else. So, uh, we're good on that. It'd really be nice if there was, like, books to level up, like, melee and, and stuff like that. Was that the only where, uh, area that I had stuff in? Oh, I guess we have a gun case here. Will that fit? It will not. Grab it. I figured we'd be overweight from that. Grab my cologne. All right, we're leaving. Open up our health so we can see how quickly it's ticking down. Put the gun case away. Everything else I'm fine carrying without it, so... Or Gucci. Okay. We've made some real good progress today. We've managed to... Uh, get some glue to make that binding journal so we can leave behind our memoirs should we end up passing away like our friend did. Which, you know what? That makes a lot more sense. You know, Brandon... He, he finally had to leave the comfort of his home, the safety of his home, because water shut off, right? And he knew that his friend was uh, going to try and take over the hospital. So he went in that direction and ended up finding his friend dead and realizing that, oh, I need to, like, leave a record behind of what happened what happens and all that, you know? I'm just gonna park this here. Hop out. And we're gonna go over this way. And, uh, yeah, I am tired now, so this is not gonna be ideal. Uh, let's hop this fence. And I can hopefully get the zombies to be like, oh, we're going to go around this way now. It seems like I'm always finding sneak at like uh, 795, 79.5. Uh, yeah. Is there any food I can use right now? You know what? Let's let's open this. Open it. Come on. We're going to eat it real quick. I can then drop that tin can. Right. And then the other stuff I can quickly put back into my backpack. This cologne. Sleeping pills. All right. There are the zombies. That was my uh, area here. It's pretty clear. Let's jump back over. I was just a map there. All right. So I really, I really don't want to deal with those guys. So we're just gonna sneak into the house or into the. Uh, building. Because we are carrying a little bit too much right now. And we just want to get out of here. Yep. Keep sneaking up here, little dirt wads.
I like that I can easily know what one's, which one's mine because it has a door in it now. So, that's just excellent. Close the door, please. Okay. We made it home. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure our uh, food is now stale. At least this stuff is. Not that we can cook it anyway, but, you know. We can, however, put our canned goods and the rest of our food into this area. There we go. It'll help us out a little bit. Hey, we actually got some water in here. I don't think it rained though, did it? It must have. But it's here. We can fill my water bottle. Have ourselves a nice little drink. Go. All right. So now I'm just gonna grab all of this, and we're just gonna try to shove it in wherever it'll fit. Okay. Then we'll just do the same to that one. Shove whatever we can that'll fit into there. And we can come over to this door here and do pretty much the same thing. Shove everything in. Excellent. All right. So, I had also read the books that we had that were, you know, available. Um, Metalworking, Mechanics, and Tailoring, we still need to, to read. Um, we do have a mechanics book. We could read that. But I think what we'll do right now, we'll do our burpees because we've been slacking on those a little bit. That'll get us up a little bit higher. That way we can go to bed nice and tired. Sleep. Ah. Well rested. Okay. So I don't want to go down at night. We're going to take the mechanics book. And we're going to actually read it. Um, but first, I want to dump the rest of the equipment I'm carrying. So, you know what? Hold on. Carpentry, wooden crate, planks, nails. Okay. I might as well make some storage while we are uh, you know, up here. Carpentry, wooden crate. I'll just start in this corner. Looks like that's all I have right now. Let's go back and grab some more of the planks. Because I would like to have some sort of storage system, right? I don't want to have everything in the... I just randomly laid about, so I can't tell what's where. Okay, maybe one more set over here. That way it's a nice, you know, nine or whatever. Did I have any more scrap around here? I thought I did. Yeah, there we go. There's the one. It's hard to see when the uh, lights are just completely fucking off. Okay. Carpentry, wooden crate. Oop. There we go. All right. So now I can take this stuff, and I'm just going to throw it in a random box. Like I said, I wasn't going to do it, but I need to because we uh, have to now. All right. I'm going to get next to the window so we can read this book. Go ahead and sit down. Speed it up. So we need to get the wood glue today, and then we need to... Um, come back up here and make a uh, binding journal and pass on our skills. At least need to do a little bit of that. So once it turns nine, maybe I'll just finish the book. I don't know. I was thinking about that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just finish this for now, okay? We'll finish this. We'll go eat. We'll go downstairs, grab what we can, come back upstairs.
We're probably going to leave the gas down there. I might take one or two cans up here. Uh, but the gas is just so heavy when it's full of stuff, right? All right. We have a little bit of mechanics experience now. Yay. Let's go eat something. How about... Some peanut butter. Oh, I don't have to open a fucking can. All right, perfect. Fucking what? There is no way. There's no way your ass got up here. Excuse me? There's no way he came all the way up the stairs. He must have been like a straggler somewhere that I missed. I'm gonna turn off my skills so I can see more stuff here. All right, how stressed are we? We're too stressed. We need to smoke before we go out. Hopefully I can find another generator in one of the uh, storage areas down here. That would be amazing. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. All that over there. But maybe I can get to the, uh, the van without them seeing me. First of all, we need the wood glue, so we're grabbing the wood glue first. Now, anything else that we can fit. Okay. That's everything we're going to carry for now. I don't even know what all we got. Radio transmission, saw, tweezers, that kind of stuff. That's fine. The main thing was the wood glue that we were coming down here for. Another zombie over there. I thought I just, like, passed one. I'm just seeing shit. Mm, okay. Come on, up we go. Am I getting any, uh... experience right now? If I am, that means there's zombies nearby. Did I just see movement? Downstairs, like over here when I was going up the stairs. Oh, this fucking sucks. I hate it. How did a zombie get in here? Whatever. Anyway, let's go dump our stuff. Anyway, all of this except for the wood glue. I'm just going to dump into here. Real quickly do that. Wrench can go over here. All right, so we have the wood glue. I believe over here I had the notebook, leather straps, and we have the bound journal, craft one. Okay, we got our journal, excellent. Come over to here, we can put the leather strips away, the wood glue away, and then we can transcribe our journal. leave a notebook of who we were, who our friends were, what the idea we were doing was, so that way in the event someone should stumble across our journal, perhaps one of our friend group who knew about our previous friends' escapades coming down here, he can, uh, they can read the journal, learn what we know, and uh, just kind of go from there. I'm going to put the journal into our book area because that's a place that has easy storage and it's easy to find. All right. Well, <clears throat> Brendan has come far. Brendan started his journey up here in his house. With the water shut off, he knew he had to do something. He journeyed across. 
hit up the hardware store to uh, attempt to get some equipment to fight the hordes. Found a crowbar there, I think, somewhere. He found a crowbar somewhere anyway. He knew that he had to go towards the hospital where one of his friends said, Hey, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to take it over, fortify it, make it whole. And so he went there. He found a staging area that his friend had set up and his friend's body outside in the parking lot, surrounded by dead zombies. His friend had did what he could to do what he wanted, but he failed, inevitably. And so Brendan took up his friend's mantle, took the area that he had cleared out for himself, and is going to continue Brendan's will by conquering the hospital at some point in the future. However, Brendan knows, especially since the zombie just showed up outside of his door a moment ago, he is not safe. He must fortify his home before he can make an attempt. I didn't realize there was a little, uh, little me here. He must fortify his home before he can attempt to even deal with the hospital. He needs to find a generator to create power so that he can cook his food and have a little light. His water problem is thankfully solved, but that's just a stopgap measure. He requires safety. Safety is not what we have here. And so, next time, when we start, what Brendan is going to do is he's going to continue transporting stuff from down below in the van up to here. And then once we have everything from the van, uh, what we're going to do is use our carpentry skills to fortify this place and make it so zombies cannot get to me physically. Um, I'm going to basically make it so that they cannot come to the second floor. The first floor, they'll be able to access potentially, but I'm going to have uh, the first floor pretty much whatever. Second floor is going to be where... I enter to, and then no zombie's going to be able to get to, because we're going to remove access to the stairs, which means we're going to have to use um, the rope or, like, rope bed sheets to climb up from the ground floor up to the top. So we'll have to actually uh, make sure we keep our weight and stuff down, because if we're carrying too much, I don't think we'll be able to get up the rope. But we don't want just one rope access. We want multiple. So I'm talking ropes over balconies, talking about making holes in the floor to drop a rope down in random locations down there because the zombies can and they will destroy the rope that we lay down there. So we need to make sure we have multiple ways to get back up uh, because if they destroy our way back up, we're going to have to have a big problem getting back up here uh, because we can't just throw a rope back up. No, we're, we have to uh, build stairs and stuff in order to get back up and uh, that would be a bit of a pain to do so we'll need to secure various avenues like i said and that's going to be the plan for next time at least we're going to start it it might not come fully finished but uh, we at least want to fortify the second floor so that zombies can't get up to us and then what we want to do from there is fortify the first floor so fewer zombies even can get into that area which means boarding up windows um, boarding up doors, uh, maybe knocking down walls so things are more visible for us. But uh, that's what we're going to do next time. So until then, bye for now.